Hey everybody, it's Mark Spect the Comics here, and today I got a special guest. I got my wife Gina. We're gonna be doing some cover chats today. So I'm gonna be uh, showing some random covers. We're gonna be talking about it, get my wife's reaction on some of the books, what she thinks about them, and so forth. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. All right, guys so welcome back if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so when i do put out some content you get it in a timely fashion all right so we're going to be doing something low-key here today we're going to be just showing off some covers random covers i picked up downstairs in the uh in the basement just some random back issues and a slab um just going to show you guys it show my wife it and then uh We'll get her reaction on it you know see if she knows some of the characters she's not a comics person at all so i know you guys in the community love seeing um you know the reaction to family members your wives you know when you show comic books i know uh, my buddy my buddy uh, greg bearded comic uh bearded he does uh, a similar thing from time to time with his wife on there showing you know guess the characters and stuff like that so i want to do my own little spin on it so um hopefully you guys enjoy it if you do we'll do some more so I'm going to show off some, like I said, some random books. Um, I'm going to obviously know what they are, but uh, hopefully we'll oh. see if she if she yeah. knows. So uh, she's seen the book here. Yeah. I'll show you guys the book. So we got Spider-Man issue number 88. Yeah. So that was a cool one. I saw that one the other day. You had it in the kitchen counter. I thought they were, what was it, a snowball fight with pumpkins? Or something? I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> a snowball fight. With uh, pumpkins. It's a cool cover. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's like, um, I believe I showed this off during my, my holiday covers back in December. Um, so what do you think about this pumpkin? Kind of looks like it's on fire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And there's, um, there's a specific uh, Spider-Man villain who loves to throw pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know any Spider-Man villains. Can I get a multiple choice? Um, it's not the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so he's um. Oh geez. Well, just give me choices of names, or is there a name like Pumpkin Eater? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Will so the name, give it away. Uh, um, no, not really. All okay. right. So you got um, Electro. You oh, got Electro was in the little guys. Yeah, it was. Book. Yeah, it was in the book. Yes. So, okay. uh, so that, I know who Electro. That is, is a, yeah, that is a big Spider-Man villain. Okay. Is Electro. Um, there's Doctor Octopus. There's Mysterio. Octopus throwing pumpkins. It's possible. <laughs> there's um, uh, what did I say? Doctor Octopus. I said Electro. There's um, Craven. There's Green Goblin. Oh well, Green Goblin. You think it's the Green Goblin? Well, it sounds like spooky Halloween and pumpkins. Yeah, actually, yeah. So, yeah, it is It is the Green Goblin. So, uh, the character actually flies on this, kind of like this green glider, and just throws pumpkins. Oh. And it, they explode. So, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a pretty uh, tough uh, villain for Spider-Man during the comic books. All right, so next book. So, we got... Um, Defenders, this is a Bronze Age book from the 70s, uh, issue number 22. So we got a, uh, two, I guess, main characters there on the cover. Hulk? So, yep. Like an old Hulk. Yep. You got the, the, you got the uh, Hulk on there, and then you got this guy right here. These are like random villains that they're fighting, oh. they're smashing. But uh, these are the two characters, as you can see here at the top. Yeah. All right, so uh, so you got the Hulk. Yep. So uh, who's this guy right here? You familiar with the, the character? No. He looks like a... What, what does he look like he's doing? Yeah, you can look at it closely. I don't know. He kind of looks like a magician with a cape. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he is. Yeah, so not, a... not a magician, but a... A wizard. Yeah. Pretty much, he's a sorcerer. Oh, okay. okay. You yeah. know, you know uh, his name? No. No. So that's um, Doctor Strange. Oh my God. He was actually ah. in a movie last year, Multiverse of Badness. 
You remember like he's he's the guy that he's a doctor. He was like um I believe he's like a neurosurgeon. Oh. And then he, you know, got into a horrific car accident and he lost his fingers. Like uh not his fingers but like his ability to do surgery. So he went to um the Himalayas, practiced uh learned how to do you know magic, he became sorcerer. Oh. Yeah. Was he in the um was it the Avengers movie? Yep, yeah, it was in the oh, Avengers. Yep, yeah, yeah. Okay. It just looks so different. Like, well, this yeah. is from when? Well, this is from the 70s. Oh, yeah. Um, but his, he does, he hasn't really changed much, you know, his appearance in the comics. All right, so we got our first. Oh boy, laser beam eyes. We got our first uh, DC book. So this is uh, DC Universe versus Masters of the Universe, number one. So it's like a crossover. So you got two different teams. Is but uh, Spider-Man? Superman. Superman. So you, you got. <laughs> So we'll just we'll just focus on the um, where we got one two three, you got you know five characters on here, but we don't you know, five. yeah, five. I count four. One, oh, two, three, I didn't see Batman. Four. All right, so you got Batman. Okay. So Superman, not Spider Man. Yep, he they goes look evil. He's just shooting. He's just shooting Since his. Since when uh, does he shoot laser beams from his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> he's always shot laser. What? That's one of his powers. He can shoot. Uh, I thought he just flew around. He he does fly around. <laughs> so he's uh, he can fly. He he's like powers? super speed. He, he well, has you like. Fly. You can go fast. Yeah. Well, no, you know. nobody flies slow. I I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe there's somebody out there. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> he has, he can also have um, super fast. He can fly. He shoots laser beams. He also can uh, like echo. He can hear from like. Long distances and stuff like that. Oh. He, he's he's Superman. Um, is that Riddler? <laughs> what is he there we go. We got the Riddler. No, no? The, no, but he is green. Green's Green's his first name. So I know the Riddler. Okay. Yep. From from Batman. No, the roller coaster at Six Flags. Riddler's Revenge was one of my favorite. Oh, ones. okay. There you I go. Went on it a bajillion times. Yeah, they, way. they've had Reason some uh, some like um, superhero roller coasters yeah. and stuff like that at like Six Flags. And that's Wonder Woman. Yep, that's Wonder Woman. That's a good one. Yep. I don't know who that guy is. So you did get Batman at the bottom. Oh yeah. And then uh, this one might be tough. So he's like very metallic. He looks like a cyborg. Exactly, that's his oh. name, cyborg. Oh. And uh, and then you just got this green dude with the mask on his face. No, so you shooting. He looks some. like he's doing ballet. <laughs> so he can he can fly as well a, bu a bunch of them can not all of them. oh green lantern yeah exactly yeah, green well, lantern. you gave me you said it was green yep okay. and then the uh, masters of the universe is it's a different completely different team but there's nobody on that team actually on the book so good all right you got them all on that one all right so next book we're going back to marvel so this is actually a classic cover and a classic story. This is What If Electra Had Lived, well, issue number Electra. 35. So that's Electra, yep. But do you know who the other guy in, in red is? He looks like a devil. He's got little yeah, horns. exactly. So that's his second half of his name. He's got the a... Red he's, devil. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much in Russia. Pretty much, so it's it, he has two D's on his on his name. Maybe that'll give you a daredevil. Yeah, exactly. Yep, daredevil. I think that's a pretty cool cover. Looks like a golf club. Is he golfing? <laughs> no, he's not golf. He does use some uh, some tools. He has like a little like a like almost like a baton or something like that. Yeah. He, so he's actually in the comics. He's um he's blind. So oh oh, that's his walking stick instead yep. of a golf club. There you go. Golf club. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's daredevil. All right. Is that what they're called? What's that? Walking stick. I, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got another uh, Marvel book. We got Alpha Flight. Um, big fan of this uh, title. This is um, Alpha Flight issue number sixteen, and um, we won't talk about these two characters. We'll skip those. We'll just talk about this character here that looks like he's breaking through the ice. I was gonna say is that ice or glass? A oh, glass. Sorry, glass. glass. So he was just in a. It looks like he was in a, um, like a glass tube. Like what are those yep. things where they like? Yeah. Hibernate. Yep. He it looks like he was. Cryo freezing. 
<laughs> maybe. Is that what it's called? <laughs> I think so. Cryogenesis? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Um, so it looks like he was just in a tube. Uh, maybe he was trapped in it. I don't know. And he escaped because uh, he's pretty strong. As you can see, he's pretty muscular. He, um, what do you think who this character could be? Well, you emphasize the word strong. Mm -hmm. Strong man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's not the Hulk. He's not. Oh, nope, yeah, he's not the him. Hulk. Um, he's an old character. Uh, originally debuted in the late oh, 1930s. Wait. You think I'm going to know it? You think I'm going to get it He by was that just in the clue? most recent Black Panther movie. He was the villain. I didn't see it. Well, maybe you saw the trailer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see. What can I give you as a hint? He's a water character. He's a submariner. Aquaman. Close. So Aquaman is the DC version. So this is the Marvel equivalent. There's more than one. Well, there's only well, there's only one. There's only this guy. Oh but the, 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 <laughs> um, I don't know. Namor the Submariner. Oh. Okay. Well, so, you just said Submariner. Well, that's just yeah. Well, if you knew his name, but oh, okay. yeah. no worries. All right. So we got all right. Another another cool one. So this is what if uh, the Fantastic Four. Loading Second head. child had lived. Yes, yeah, so we got the classic, uh, what we see a lot back in the Silver Age, the uh, the Kirby floating heads covers. So um, these are the four Fantastic Four. Do you happen to know who they are? Or, no. or who they would be looking at the, the faces on them? No. Is that Thanos? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, that's pretty. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he, I, I could see the rock it. is like Thanos, yes, like made the of rock. stone. So oh, pretty, his name's the rock. Pretty close. So stone he, man. <laughs> so he's pretty close. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you're not gonna get it, but it, he's called the thing. The thing. The thing. Is but, Thanos made from? No, no. He, he looks like it. He looks like he's made from. Stone. No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you got the. Uh, so you got this guy right here that he, he his face looks like he's on fire. So maybe that might give you the uh, a clue of what his name may be. Fireman. <laughs> Pretty well, you're you're getting in the right direction. So he's no, no guesses. <laughs> well, fire is my only clue. Um, he is human. Well, I'm going back to fireman. Ah, fire. So he's the Human Torch. Oh. Okay, and then you have the the couple. So you got. Oh, is that like? You might know. I just Superman's I, alter ego. Nope, nope. But he's got the Superman curl. He does, but no. Um, so this guy right here is quite brilliant, and then that's his wife. Um, they're referred to as the Fantastic Couple. Yep, but so that's no Mister Fantastic and Mrs. Fantastic. No, and that's Invisible Woman. That's <laughs> all right. No worries. All right, we got um, a last raw book, and then we'll finish off with the uh, a slab book, just to change it up. All right. So here we go. This is actually a really cool cover. Um, this is Hulk issue number 286. And uh, you already know who this character is, obviously. Yeah. Um, this character's not really important. It looks like he's just, you know, trying to tase the Hulk. But we'll focus on this character here in the background. I'll show you guys a little bit closer. Maybe you guys will know. Um, pretty important villain coming up in the next phase, next phases of the Marvel Universe. We've been seeing him consistently in the trailers. Um, so he's, uh, he wears this purple outfit his has a blue face shield he's being played by jonathan majors famous actor from no, no idea who that is. you don't know who jonathan majors is oh, oh man we're in trouble um <laughs> all right um so he's a pretty big time villain he likes to conquer all the realities because he wants to rule all of the multiverses and basically be the old ruler of all. So I might have given you a clue with the conqueror. Oh. And then you I just was thinking of the there's a guy in the was it the Avengers movie? 
Yeah. Was he in the Avengers movie that like hopped no. around the different dimensions? Um, the wizard guy. No, not the wizard guy. So what's his name? Doctor Strange. Oh, that is Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah, he. Okay. So yes, he. So he. But he that's jumps, not that guy. He jumps around through different realities, but this guy, he's basically the ruler of time, and he likes to alter realities to shape it in his own way. Um, pretty pretty cool villain. He is this is the name in... of the guy from the little guy's book where he has to spell his name out? No, I don't, I don't think what so. What book was that? I'm not sure. You know which one I'm talking about? Not really. The one with the really hard to pronounce name and he was playing the game. No, this is a rather easy name to pronounce. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, so he's Kang. Kang the Conqueror. Kang. Oh my God, so uh, I'll have to show you the trailer after. He, he's, he's a pretty uh, menacing villain. Pretty cool. I'm uh, pretty excited. The movie actually comes out in less than two weeks. So I'm excited to see it. And then we'll finish off with a slab book. A graded book. Uh, so I call them slabs because they're encased. So that's kind of just like the terminology for it. So uh, we'll finish off with uh, a really cool classic cover done by George Perez. And this is Tales of the Teen Titans, issue number 44. And we'll just focus on these two characters here on the side. We don't really need to talk about this guy. So we'll just talk about these two characters here. Um, and see if you know who they are. Uh, so one's, this guy's a hero. This guy is like an anti-hero. He's more like a, like a villain anti-hero-ish type of character. Um, no idea. Any thoughts? No? Nope. Uh, let me see. Oh, what do you think of the cover at least? Looks old. Yeah. 84. Oh. Yeah. So fairly old. Well, with standards. Yeah. We're almost that old, so. Yeah. It's not that this, this book's older. This, you know. So it does have some age to it. Yeah. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's not. A, I wouldn't say it's a cool cover. No. Okay. No. Fair enough. I like the, like, color. I don't know. This one is my favorite one from what we did tonight. Oh, you like? Yeah, show the show. Yeah. That like one. that, it is a cool cover. I, I like. I personally like the like the snow winter covers. That cool. I, that's a nice cover. All right, so not a, not the biggest fan of this cover. No worries. So like the um, colors are just like it. it almost muted. yeah. It almost looks like like the colors a little old, faded. Yeah. Like I think it looks older than it is. Needs to be like it needs to pop like more. Like kind of look like this one. They kind of. Okay, I think the right? colors look brighter on that one. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why it looks. And old. that's I, and that's an this older old. that's an older book. I think it's from the mid seventies, mid to early seventies, if I'm not mistaken. It's a twenty five center. Yeah, this one's seventy five. It's like significantly older book. Mm. Um, all right. So, what does he look like? He almost looks like an assassin, almost, right? Yeah. He got a, he has a few guns going. He's loaded with bullets. There, he's got a looks like a staff or a you know nightstick type of thing. So, um, I'll give you a hint. His name might be here on the cover. Which one of those? Nightwing. Names? No, Jericho. Deathstroke. 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 Deathstroke, exactly. So, that's Deathstroke. And then, um, this one is... So, that's Nightwing. Exactly. So, that's Nightwing. Uh, so is... And this guy's Jericho. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, I believe so i could be wrong i don't know I don't his know. first appearance wouldn't he yeah be i think that's probably jericho i could be wrong help me out guys i don't know offhand <laughs> but uh yeah we wanted to focus on uh so yeah this is uh dick grayson he becomes nightwing in this book so it's, it's a pretty important hmm. book in the comics um nightwing's a pretty Never heard of him. no he's, he's he's you know so it's like the the teen titans he's fam like the batman family there's like a bunch of different characters you know robin yeah yeah so he's you know he's he's been a Robin in in the uh, in in one of the older books and stuff like that. So he becomes Nightwing in this series. Okay. So that's where he. They kinda... become different people. Yeah. Some characters they change over time. They change their egos. You know, the, not their egos. The um, their uh, their characters over time, so that they can introduce new characters. For like you know, like Robin. Robin is a character back from the late thirties, nineteen thirties. He was Robin. He was. Dick Grayson was a Robin oh. in one, in one, you know, period in the comic book. So now there's a new, there's a new Robin right now in the comics. That's not uh, Dick Grayson. There's somebody else. So different people become the same person. 
different people become just like there's like different Batmans. Oh. Like there's an, like there's been multiple Batmans oh, over over I time. Didn't know like that. I like, just thought on like obviously the movies they were different. Different act. So like um. Right. So the original Batman's Bruce Wayne. He's like the yeah. Entrepreneur, millionaire, billionaire, whatever. There's Damian Wayne becomes Batman. There's Tim Fox becomes Batman. There's, I haven't heard of all those people. I know. So the, I was say there's many. Just like there's many characters that become the Flash over the years. There's like interesting. Yeah. So. Uh, there you go. You learned a little something new. Hopefully, uh, saw some cool books. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah. What do you think? There's a lot of different people to yeah, keep track of. Yes, <laughs> there's there's a lot of different characters. Um, yeah. You seem to have liked the uh, yeah. Spider-Man book the most. Yeah. So sweet. Yeah. So that's it, guys. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And then comment down below what you guys think, uh, what you guys want to see. We're going to, you know, we're going to play it by ear. going to do some more videos. Just it'll be more focused on the covers. You know, we're just we're going to call this like a cover chat yeah. and, uh, and just give her, you know, my wife's thoughts on it and just, you know, go from there. We'll get some funny, funny things out of this. So uh, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.